This week's adventure started with uh, printing a tripod phone holder and the bed level not being held. You can see the tripod in the picture right now. And then we have to disassemble the whole head and this is just a little quick snipping on disassembling the entire head. Now these are some sounds. Oh you stupid machine. These are some sounds that the 3D printer is making. This is related with the flow. And as the machine gun. <laughs> and now it's just changing the bed with the thick marvel that will true the bed, keep it true from like being leveled higher in one side or lower in another side. Now we got into the stringing problem. So to tackle that we have to print out some stuff. And uh, we printed out these things here. Um, we printed like three of these um, tripod holders and this is after I printed a very clean stringing test and you can see like there is no problems absolutely with it and this was the second time after I printed the tripod holder the first string test was this and there was clear stringing and what I did I increased I had the speed as 120 millimeters per second on this one I think uh, but the uh, millimeters uh, length was four millimeters and I increased it to seven and I obtained this and this is very sturdy however I think the flow was different on this one it may have been at 99 percent the flow and after that I printed a bunch of cubes okay we printed a lot of Z cubes XYZ cubes and one of them was the best looking one and I the rest of them are just similar, there are different wall thicknesses, there's different settings, I tried to dial it in and today I printed another cube for 30 millimeter speed and I was expecting to have results out of this world but I printed it at the same time with the stringing test which I already broke and I'll explain why. Last night I printed this and this is some stringing artifacts and uh, this is the same tripod holder for phones. It's universal. It works fantastically and I love it. Now this one I printed along with the cube today. Come on focus. Okay. And you can see there's like residual stringing but the flow settings were at 90 percent so we don't hear that snapping sound when the head over extrudes and there's not enough clearance for the material to exit so then it accumulates and then the wheels grind on the filament and then it kind of flows back and it snaps and we saw that sound so this is the string test and this we printed at the same time with the cube and I'm not sure if this affected the cubes faces but they're not great this one that I printed last time was great well not this one this is the difference it was a great result and I think I was at 99% flow but so these are the problems right now getting the first layer to stick and getting the proper distance in between the first layer or in between the nozzle and the bed it is a monumental challenge if the first layer or the distance is not high enough then you will have accumulation of material in the filament flow canal channel whatever into the tube itself and that will do will allow to string because it'll create excessive pressure or will have layers to overflow I'm assuming and because of the probe itself the leveling probe that the Creality 3D Pro whatever CR10S Pro comes with it's very difficult to dial it in to dial in the bed leveling and then after that if you get it right if once then the setting will not stick the probe will lose its concentration maybe it's dust maybe there's uh, glue on or accumulation of glue or something that throws off the probes after a few prints or after just the first print so you'll have to level it again and getting the right amount of space in between the nozzle and the bed it's excessively difficult and this causes a lot of retries and failures and it's not helpful whatsoever now let's try these cubes here I attempted with 
and all these cubes are printed at two point millimeter height and I change the jerk settings from all kinds of speeds. I change the acceleration settings, the deceleration, or, or I change a bunch of settings and there's always random layers going weird. So it's not like you can ever predict or get the right layers. Okay, I've been trying to find these, what is this, on sturdy floor. So I printed this on the sturdy floor rather than the furniture which shakes with the printer to see if the layers are going to stick out more excessively than the rest of them. And these are the results. It seems like they do, but then this cube with the same settings out wall first. And then I printed this with the out wall first. And now this has different color. And I tried all kinds of settings to get these layers to stick on top of each other cleanly, and I can't get it. And today, the cube I printed, I hope is this one, it doesn't matter. They're all the same in quality. They, I printed at 30 millimeters per second, and nothing. I did print it with the leveling probe, or with the leveling tuning, whatever this thing is, stringing test. And maybe that had an influence, but it should have. If you print two objects, at the same time on the same bed they shouldn't cause any issues and i think this may be a 0.3 millimeter height and sometimes i had ghosting sometimes i didn't there was one cube that printed one day after a barely customized um profile that came with cura so basically the profile was 1.5 millimeters height or no 0.15 millimeters height and I increased it to 0.2 millimeters height and I changed the wall thickness to two millimeters and a few things and it was a, an exceptional print. Well, it was better than most of them. Now, if we look at these like that, okay, because I think this is the left one. Okay, if we look at it, uh, it's too much light. What is interesting is that it had the top, bottom and the top things that they more protrude, protruding out and but there's no way of getting this to print properly more than this. So if you want, I mean, I never tried vase mode. And I've seen people like do all kinds of tricks with vase mode. And I think I may have printed in vase mode some cubes. We just have to look inside of them. Yeah, this one. There is no, there is nothing inside. And this will be a vase mode. And we could see that it's not working. You can see inside. And I can show you a difference with the light. I was transmitted. You see that has like inside infill. Okay, those are triangles that you're seeing right there. And the other one is just empty inside. So I assumed it could be anything and everything under the sun and is not. I tried the jerk settings. I tried to disable them. I tried to enable them. There isn't anything that had made this printer work. And this is my last week adventure with improving these uh basically this is on furniture and this is on and they have the same amount of infill which i think it's very little or nothing at all inside and you can see them that they're both shaky and this is on the sturdy floor like basically the all the vibrations are absorbed by the frame of of the printer and these are on the furniture which kind of wobbles with the printer therefore letting the frame have less vibration in it and i think they have inverted the to print the outside wall first nothing works so nothing makes it print better even lowering the speed to 13 millimeters a second still nothing they're all the same uh, these are different temperatures as well in between 195 to 200 to 210 and some of them i have 40 percent fill like this one you can see the triangles inside some of them had like cubic type of infill but none of them worked to be as flawless as this guy here now in this light it doesn't show you that it it's flawless or better but if we turn off the light and we kind of put it into the room light because of this is a lower temperature and is less shiny it kind of tricks your mind into believing that it's good but what i like about this one is the sharp corners the corners are really sharp most of the other ones have like a rounded protrusion if we could get this you see that protrusion there and 
I do not remember the settings of this one. I don't even have the G code for it. So, But then I printed the same G code as this one, and it didn't come the same way. Like the layers were shifting out a lot more. They were protruding out. So this is what has happened throughout the week. I've printed a lot of cubes. So I'm just going to find things to print that are useful, like this tripod phone holder. And this is useful indeed and uh, I learned the trick from somebody online to use wax or uh, paraffin like some petroleum thing that they make candles these days out of to uh, kind of lube the threads and it works good the gentleman that designed this thing uh, he was a really good designer uh, maybe I should put a link in the description where you download this on a thingiverse rather than you looking it up make your life easier and I have a, d a bunch of unfinished or start cubes and I did this just as tests to make sure and I didn't have the patience to finish them because I already saw that they're unsatisfactory this one here seems to have some sort of uh, good face compared with other ones and but we see some like salmon here I have some upgrades coming for this printer, <laughs> but it's kind of like catch-22 because I'm thinking to have it replaced and I reached out to the company, see what they think. And I think this next following week, the best thing is for me to do research on the bed leveling probe and to get one that is more accurate and uh, it gets repeatable results. That is basically what I'm after. Thank you!